What if I told you that you could become a cloud engineer from scratch, even with zero experience? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, stay with me because I'm here to show you that it's absolutely possible. Today, I'm going to guide you through a proven six-step roadmap that can take you from zero to cloud engineer in just six months. Yes, six months, even if you're starting with no cloud experience at all. Cloud computing is one of the fastest growing fields in tech, and it's projected to keep growing. In 2024, the cloud market size is almost 700 billion, and in the next five years, it's expected to grow to twice that size to a staggering $1.5 trillion. That's a trillion with a T. This means huge opportunities for careers in cloud computing, and there's truly no better time to dive in. I know taking the first step can feel overwhelming, but with this roadmap, I'll show you exactly where to start, what to focus on, and how to build up real skills. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear plan for getting certified, getting hands-on experience, and landing your first job as a cloud engineer. So stick around. I'm going to give you all the steps you need along with some essential tips to make sure you're successful on this journey. Let's get started. Here is how we'll approach this journey. I've broken it down into six steps to make sure you build the right skills at the right time. The goal is not just learning, but gaining hands-on, practical experience that will make you stand out. The steps we will go through are as follows. First, you will choose a cloud provider. Starting with the right cloud platform is crucial. Next, you will build a solid foundation. This step is all about getting a strong grasp on cloud basics. Then, you will get certified at the associate level. Here, we'll dive deeper with certifications. Next, you will gain practical, hands-on experience. This is the heart of our roadmap. You'll apply what you've learned in real scenarios. After that, you will enhance your knowledge where you will go beyond the basics with infrastructure tools and AI. Finally, you will prepare for the job market, where we'll wrap up with tips on landing that first job. Each step in this journey builds on the previous one. So following the order is essential. Remember, consistency is key. A few hours every day or even dedicated weekends can make this journey manageable and help you build momentum. While this path isn't easy, it's absolutely achievable with your dedication and commitment. Don't let the challenges hold you back. Nothing worthwhile is easy and nothing easy is worthwhile. So are you ready? Let's get started. The first step is deciding which cloud provider you want to focus on. The top three in the industry are Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform, GCP. To make it easier for you, I recommend either AWS or Azure. Why? Because they dominate the market, have extensive learning resources, and tons of companies are looking for people skilled in these platforms. So all you have to do in this step is decide between AWS and Azure. Make sure you do your own research and make a decision. AWS and Azure each have their strengths. AWS is often considered the pioneer and has the largest share in the market. It offers a wide variety of services and is used by tons of startups and enterprises alike. Azure, on the other hand, integrates really well with Microsoft products, making it a go-to for organizations already using tools like Office 365 or Windows Server. Both platforms are excellent choices, so don't stress too much about this. There is really no wrong decision. Just pick one of the two and commit to it. This should take you no more than a week. Less time you spend on this, more time you will have on for the other steps. Once you pick a provider, sign up and create a free account. Both AWS and Azure offer free tiers, allowing you to explore their services at no cost. Start by familiarizing yourself with the interface and core services like storage, compute, and networking. Just playing around with the dashboard and understanding how resources are organized will give you a nice head start.
With your cloud provider selected, it's time to move on to the next crucial step, building a strong foundation. This step is essential as it will make a big difference when you start tackling hands-on projects and learning advanced skills later on. Start by learning what cloud computing is and understanding key concepts like IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. You should also get familiar with core cloud services like virtual machines, storage accounts, databases, and networking. I'm going to provide links to the learning materials that you can review and use for studying in the description. If you, use, if you choose AWS, I recommend checking out the AWS Cloud Practitioner course. And if you choose Azure, go for the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, AZ900. These courses cover foundational concepts and they're designed specifically for beginners. Taking the foundational exams is optional, but studying for them will help you cover important topics and get familiar with your provider's core services. These certifications are not required for the associate level exams, which we'll discuss in the next step. Take advantage of resources like free YouTube videos, tutorials, and labs offered by AWS and Azure. Platforms like AWS have AWS Skill Builder and Microsoft has Microsoft Learn with hands-on labs to practice. Doing some basic hands-on labs will help you start connecting the dots and give you more an advantage moving forward. By the end of this step, which should take you no more than about three weeks, you should have a better understanding of cloud computing and how to use core services on your chosen platform. Once you have a solid foundation, it's time to go deeper with an associate level certification. This is where rubber meets the road and where you get to utilize everything you've learned so far. For AWS, I recommend the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. For Azure, the AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator is a great choice. If you have a background in software development, then consider AZ-204 Azure Developer Associate instead. These certifications are more challenging and will require a serious commitment, but they'll push you and you will gain in-depth knowledge on the platform you're working with. Udemy offers excellent prep courses for both certifications, complete with labs, quizzes, and practice exams. These courses cover essential topics like resource deployment and management, security, networking, and storage, critical skills for a cloud engineer. I'll link my recommended courses in the description, though feel free to choose any course that fits your style. These are simply ones I've personally taken and found valuable. If you prefer a free study route, check out a fantastic YouTube course from freecodecamp.org, also linked in the description. This step will require focus and a structured study plan, but the effort will pay off. Passing one of those exams will boost your confidence with cloud concepts and even more importantly, prepare you for real world cloud projects. Give yourself about eight weeks on this step. Now that you've built up the knowledge, it's time to put everything you've learned into practice. Hands-on experience is what will truly define your journey from here. This is the most critical step. While certifications are valuable, experience is what will set you apart. Since you're new to the cloud engineering field, gaining practical skills is essential, and hands-on projects are the best way to get them. This experience is exactly what employers are looking for and it will make you a much stronger candidate. For those following the Azure path, I recommend working through at least eight projects from the Azure Samples GitHub repository, which I'll link in the description. Plan to spend about eight weeks on this step, tackling one project per week to allow for a thorough understanding of each project. These projects include a variety of cloud services covered in the AZ-104 or AZ-204, giving you a valuable experience with real-world implementations. If you're on the AWS Solutions Architect Associate track, start with AWS Skill Builder. Like the Azure projects, aim to complete one lab per week over eight weeks. These labs are structured to provide guided, hands-on experience, allowing you to steadily build your skills in AWS step-by-step. 
I'll provide a link to, uh, for this as well in the description. With step four completed, we're now five months into this journey and we have one month left and you're going to spend it to broaden your skill set. Familiarize yourself with infrastructure as code tools like Terraform and learn to work with your provider CLI, command line interface. For AWS, that means AWS CLI. For Azure, it's the Azure CLI. These tools are invaluable in real world scenarios as they let you automate infrastructure setup. Another area worth exploring is AI and machine learning services. On AWS, check out Amazon SageMaker. On Azure, there's Azure Machine Learning. If you have a programming background, consider using languages like Python or JavaScript to interact with cloud APIs. This will make you more versatile and open up more advanced cloud roles. This step shouldn't take you more than three weeks. Congratulations on making it this far. You're almost at the finish line and now it's time to get ready for the job hunt. Start by updating your resume to highlight all the new skills you've acquired and be sure to list the hands-on projects you've completed. These projects will really help you stand out. And if you don't already have a LinkedIn profile, create one and make sure it showcases your skills, certifications, and projects. You should give yourself about a week for this final step. Next, start applying for entry-level or associate-level cloud positions. Remember, you may not land your dream job right away, but with consistent effort, opportunities will come. Networking can also be a big help, so consider joining club computing groups on LinkedIn or attending virtual meetups. One useful tip, when you find a job posting that interests you, Review the job description carefully to understand what skills and knowledge the employer values most. Then make sure you're solid in those areas. And if you're not, go back and review those areas. Also, for your first role, focus less on pay and more on the learning experience and the projects you'll be working on. Your first position will be a stepping stone to even bigger opportunities. And there you have it. This completes our 24-week roadmap from zero experience to cloud engineer. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more cloud tips and tutorials. Good luck on your journey and I'll see you in the next video.